I'm 100, and I'm going to read Ellie Elephant. Ellie Elephant was not tiny. Ellie Elephant was not small. Ellie Elephant was not just large. Ellie Elephant was huge. Ellie Elephant's ears were huge. Her head was huge. Her legs were huge. <laughs> and her feet, oh, they. Oh, they huge. Her legs were huge. And her feet, oh, they were enormous. Now you might think with such very large ears, Elif Elephant could hear very well. You would think, wouldn't you, that the moment Ellie Elephant's mother spoke, those huge ears, huge ears would hear, and those huge feet would obey. But I must tell you, Ellie Elephant sometimes was a little slow of hearing. I don't mean she couldn't hear. I mean she didn't want to hear. I know none of you would ever do that, but some people who don't know any better have been just a little bit slow of hearing. Maybe their dad said, Come on and do a little job for me. And they knew what he said, but didn't really want to, to, so they kind of disappeared. Oh, the order mom called, come here, I want you to do something for me. But they just decided not to hear. That's what Ellie Elephant did, and sometimes it worked because after all you can see if someone is hearing or not hearing. Sometimes Mother thought Ellie Elephant really didn't hear when she did. One day Ellie Elephant's habit of not listening got her in trouble. The family had gone for a walk in the forest, and they were all enjoying the sunshine fluttering down through the leaves. It was a beautiful sunny day, and they were having such a good time together. Ellie Elephant saw a huge grapevine. And it looked just like an elephant-sized swing. Look, she, look, she called out. I found a swing. Ellie Elephant slowly, slowly sat down on a grapevine. Swing. Great. Grapevine swing. And it held her up. Be careful, Ellie Elephant. It may break, Ellie Elephant's mother warned. Ellie Elephant knew mother said something, but she didn't really listen. And besides, she wanted to swing to help her keep from falling. Ellie Elephant curled her trunk around the vine. She lifted one huge foot from the ground. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. The vine didn't break. No, she was sure it would hold her after all. She had only on a tiptoe on the ground. The huge vine began to sway back and force a little. <laughs> How exciting! Ellie Elephant, you'd better listen to me. That vine will... Ellie Elephant knew Mother was...
was calling her, but she couldn't listen. Now she was about to swing, grapevine, swing. She clicked her foot up and up, up went the grapevine. She was almost to the top of the trees. Mother was wrong. She's not wrong. The vine was strong. The wind. The wind. Whist whistled past Ellie Elephant's big ears. Down, down, down she came, and up, up, up on the other side was that Mama Elephant. She heard calling, Ellie Elephant, I can listen now. Ellie Elephant. I can't listen now, Ellie Elephant said. I'm swinging. I'm having lots of fun. Ellie Elephant never knew what happened next. There was a creak and a hundred leaves flew from the vine. She heard her brother say, Oh, Ellie Elephant! In a frightened voice. And she felt herself falling down, down, down. Tremendous feet over flapping ears until suddenly crash! <laughs> the rest of the story they told to Ellie Elephant after she woke up. They lay very still for a long time. They were afraid she would never open her eyes again. Finally, Ellie Elephant, Ellie Elephant opened her eyes again. Finally, Ellie Elephant's it like fluttered and she opened her eyes. Where, where am I? She said. Faintly, faintly. Faintly. What happened? Oh, Ellie Elephant, we were so scared. Her brother said the world seemed to swing in a wide circle within Ellie Elephant's head. She closed her eyes within a um, she closed her eyes quickly. Oh, I'm so dizzy. What's wrong with my head? You fell on your head, Ellie Elephant. That's what... What's wrong with it? Said her mother kindly. I tried to tell you the vine would break, but you just didn't hear me. <gasps> Did she have? I got a ten page. As dizzy as she was, Ellie Elephant knew that wasn't true. Oh, Mama, I just didn't listen. It's my fault. I wanted this wing. When Ellie Elephant was safely. Tucked in her own bed, mother brought her something good to drink. That will make you feel better, said Mama Elephant. But you will have to stay in bed until the dizziness goes away. <sighs> Thank you, Mama. Believe me, the next time you speak to me, I'm going to listen and obey. What's the moral? Obey them that have the rule over you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next time.